one. Hey, welcome back to Building One. We are at the Project Reebok CrossFit One, hanging out with the cool kids. I don't know if you know this kid, Spencer Hendel. Uh, you know, heroic feats of strength every day. He's young, style, he's handsome. Still, he's still got, he's got potential. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. There's ways to improve. We want to talk about some ideas about improving the front rack. And you know, it's a, it's a common mistake. So I'll stand up for a little bit. One of the things that we talk about is usually when we demo front rack, we demo in this position, what's happening is that he's internally rotating. And he's doing this on purpose, but his hand, you see that if I put him into an actually rotated shoulder position here, and then brought the hand up, how that's actually externally rotated. In this position, his wrist is in neutral, it's going straight, and it's because his arm doesn't actually work straight this way, it's on axis out this way. That's why you have a carrying angle so you don't hit yourself in the leg. It's so weird, right? So it's easier to feed yourself. So in this position, this is extra rotated. And this is a stronger position. If he's here and the hand is in, he's going to be pressing from this anterior shoulder into the rotated position and never generate as much force. And then when you're jumping overhead, you end up in a receiving position that looks like a bad shoulder position. You can't enter that tunnel of movement from a good posi bad position and reclaim it. Here, it's an easy lockout, right? Because he's already actually rotated. The shoulder is already stable in the joint. So here's a couple options to work on this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. So first thing we do is, is I just want to show you one idea, is that one of the things we try to do is get pre-torque in our athletes. The more we can torque, Prior to movement, the stronger and more wound up we're going to be. You can't reclaim torque later on. You can't kind of get back. So do our classic open up your lat stretch. I mean, we're not doing this today, but I want to show you something. Back that up. Now, what he's done here is he's loaded up the arm, and he's playing along. But you see how the palm is down? He's got no torque. The stable position is to actually rotate, but he can't reclaim that full extra rotation once he's under load. We need to preload to come out of tension. Preload the extra rotation now back down, and that has a very different feel. It's the outcome that maximizes the kind of joint congruency and really what's going on. Otherwise, it ends up blowing off torque, and I'll never be able to get into that perfect position. That's why we talk about setup is kind of king. I've got to enter that tunnel in a good position. So, here's a couple ideas about setting up pre torque, and this is why we've got to have that range of motion. So, first, go ahead and stick the elbow in and come into that position. So look what's happening here. So we've got him, go ahead and walk towards me. And we'll just try to open up. So come this way. Now look at this. Go ahead and squeeze your butt. There you go, hold that position. Now look, you can see that when he puts his arm over his head, how he naturally wants to initially rotate there. Because I'm a super friend, I can turn that wrist over and block the elbow. And then now, go ahead and keep walking away from the band. Tighten up the band, walk towards the blue wall. Now he really starts to wind that up. And does that feel different to you? Why are you making that face? Why is he making that face? All I'm doing though is creating rigid <laughs> places. All of the torque should be generated by him, so you can rotate yourself into a tighter position. Ah, see, I just figured that out. And this look, this would be a sweet rack position, wouldn't it? I mean, this would be way behind the head. And all I'm doing again is making sure that you can externally rotate forward. Otherwise, there's so many torques on the shoulder that he tries to get out of that position. So pop that real quick, and then go ahead and get into your rack and see what the sides look like from the side. Good turn. Show us which side we just do. We do this side, yes. and if you see from the, from the back, we should see an easier way about getting this elbow up and actually rotate. So one way to improve that front rack. Another idea about front rack is that when we get limited in this bottom position, it's easy to go ahead and hook this up down below. And this thing, I think, is another nasty way to do the same thing we just did. See if you can't load that wrist up in the same way. So go grab that band, go up over, go ahead and hook it. And then go up and up. Boom. So now, oh, morning. Now I can externally rotate, trying to break. And then I can be pulling him out and really get into those tight corners. And then he can contract, relax. All I'm doing is encouraging. And you can see why we have athletes come around here. You can see why athletes have wrist problems in some of these rack positions. This is an exaggerated position, but the wrist is working off angle. It's not until he gets all the way out here. Now look up. His wrist doesn't have a kink in it anymore. Kink in the wrist, big load, no kink in the wrist. And so now he can walk back. And I, all I'm doing is just as a super friend, is encouraging that position, and then he can load, contract, relax here if you need, hang out. Let's say that that's a minute, and you can see he's trying not to break. Don't break. Don't break. Hold. Hold. Go ahead and dismount. Oh, and Such a loss. Oh, I got weird. Go ahead and 
and try that again. Do, do we see it? Ah, he's able to turn this wrist much flatter now. Now the shoulder starts to be in a, have a better congruency by being back in the socket and into much more kind of extra rotated position, which gives him better force production, right? Because you're transmitting more force more effective. Does it feel different? Standing. Yeah. I'm going to jerk like 350 tomorrow. Bam! Last idea. Go ahead and grab that. Hook up. Elbows together on the table. As a super friend, I just lock the elbows together. Good. Go ahead and straighten up your arms towards me. Straighten up arms. Or towards me. Towards you. Yeah, and then back up and try to put your try to put your head through your elbows. Keep going back. Keep scooting up. No, nope, sorry. Scoot your legs back and try to extend your arms over your head. Keep going. There you go. Now I'm I'm trying to keep his elbows together. Put your head up. There we go. Now straighten your arms out a little bit, which is how we increase the extra rotation. Bring your arms back. The further the hands go apart, the more it creates extra rotation. Look for an easy way to do it. He spreads his hands apart. Then reload. Ah, so wait, wait. Come back down. There. There's that position. Oh, set him up. Now you can add that torque. You know what's funny about mobilization? Nothing. <laughs> this is how you crush the ninth fittest man in the world. What's <laughs> it's working on that extra rotation in flexion? A couple ideas. Always take the best athletes in the world and ask yourself, how can I torture them on camera? That's, that's really what's up. Spencer Handel, Cross Reebok 1. We'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>